a $13 billion beast, capable of destroying a whole city, can fight a war for 25 years without refueling, home to 4,500 soldiers, 100,000 tons, the ultimate super carrier. Aircraft carriers have been seen as floating air bases ever since World War II. The aircraft carrier is a symbol of prestige and power for global powers. And it's no coincidence that the U.S. is currently the most powerful nation in the world because they have the greatest modern aircraft carriers. Today, one in every four aircraft carriers in the world belongs to the U.S. So. Before you cross paths with the U.S., you might have to think twice. They have a $13 billion beast so huge you can't call it an aircraft carrier anymore. It's a super carrier. And it is the most technologically advanced warship ever built. But most world powers are also operating or building technologically advanced aircraft carriers to safeguard their rights and interests. So in this video, We'll look at the top aircraft carriers from different countries and how they compare to the U.S. Number 10. Cavour, Italy The Cavour is a $2 billion, 33,000-ton vessel that serves as the flagship of the Italian Navy and can transport up to 450 troops at a time. It has several defense systems, such as short-range defense systems, guns, and decoy launchers. The 244-meter-long aircraft carrier with a beam of 39 meters can carry up to 20 aircraft and 24 main battle tanks. Its maximum speed is 16 knots, achieved with the help of six diesel generators, and it complements the Italian Navy's other aircraft carrier, the Giuseppe Garibaldi. Number 9. The INS Vikrant, India the INS Vikrant is the first aircraft carrier that was built in India and it cost approximately $5.2 billion. It is also the largest warship ever built in India. The loaded displacement of the ship is around 45,000 tons and the ship measures 262 meters in length and 59 meters in width. The INS Vikrant's flight deck is able to accommodate up to 40 aircraft, including 26 Russian-made MiG-29K fighter jets. It's more technologically advanced than its close sibling, the INS Vikrant Maditya. The INS Vikrant is also fitted with a sky jump and has two takeoff runways. The weapon systems on board the aircraft carrier are four Otto Breda 76mm dual-purpose cannons. Two 32-cell vertical launching systems VLS, for Barak-1 and Barak-8 surface-to-air missiles, and AK-630, a Russian fully automatic naval CIWS. Number 8. Charles de Gaulle, France The first French nuclear-powered surface ship, Charles de Gaulle, is one of France's most important flight carriers and has been in service since 2001. With the displacement of 42,500 tons, a maximum speed of 27 knots, a carrying capacity of 40 aircraft, and $5 billion in cost, it serves as the flagship of the French Navy and is the only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier built outside the United States. Its design has been made keeping in mind the need for a battleship to show versatility and stealth and has been provided with two K-17 reactors for propulsion. This French carrier is also the only non-American Western aircraft carrier to have a catapult launch system which enables it to operate a wide range of aircraft. Number 7. INS Vikra Maditya, India The INS Vikra Maditya is a close cousin to the INS Vikrant. It is the Indian Navy's largest warship in service with a displacement of 44,500 cubic feet. It is also a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier acquired from Russia measuring 284 meters in length and 60 meters in width. The INS Vikramaditya can carry a maximum of 36 aircraft, including 36 Mikoyan MiG-29 multi-role fighters and 10 Kamov Ka-31 AEWNC and Kamov Ka-28 ASW helicopters. 
The carrier is armed with anti-ship missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, guided bombs, and rockets. The propulsion system of the INS Victor Amaditya integrates eight turbo-pressurized boilers and four geared steam turbines, which generate a total output power of 180,000 shp. The six turbo alternators and six diesel alternators on board the vessel generate a total power of 18 megawatts. Number 6. Shandong, China The Shandong, China's first ever homegrown aircraft carrier, has a top speed of about 31 knots and a capacity for 44 aircraft on its deck. It measures 305 meters in length and a beam of 75 meters, with a total load displacement of 70,000 tons. It is very similar to its older brother, Liaoning, but it features much more advanced technology, a greater aircraft carrying capacity of four, design improvements, and noticeable new equipment since it was built more recently. Both carriers are similar in size and use a STOBAR, short takeoff but arrested recovery system to launch and recover aircraft. It operates a mix of Chinese J-15 air superiority fighters, Z-8 naval helicopters, and Russian Ka-31 airborne early warning helicopters. Number 5. Fujian, China China has the highest number of aircraft carriers in the world after the U.S. The Liaoning, the Shandong, and now the Fujian. The Fujian aircraft carrier is named after the country's eastern coastal province that lies across from Taiwan. It is China's most advanced aircraft carrier and is significantly larger than previous Chinese aircraft carriers. The Fujian is the only aircraft carrier in the east to feature electromagnetic catapults and arresters to launch and slow down aircraft respectively. While it may have just three launch systems compared to the U.S.'s four per carrier, the Beast has an 80,000-ton displacement, making it the largest aircraft carrier in the world outside the United States. It is actually nearly as large as the U.S. Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Judging from the size of the Fujian, this carrier can accommodate around 60 aircraft, so it is a very strong contender against the American supercarriers in virtually every department. Number 4. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia The Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier, measuring 1,000 feet in length and weighing 58,000 tons, has the capacity to carry 30 to 40 aircraft simultaneously. Its armaments are specifically designed to dismantle even the largest of aircraft carriers. Equipped with 24 rotary-style vertical launch systems, each housing eight missiles, the carrier possesses formidable firepower. These launch systems are capable of firing rapidly in succession. The aircraft carrier also carries 192 S-300 Gauntlet Point air defense missiles. To bolster its defensive capabilities, the Admiral Kuznetsov is fitted with multiple AK-630 cannons and Kashtan missile close-in weapon systems. These systems combine to detect and eliminate short-range incoming missiles and enemy aircraft that manage to breach the outer defenses. Number 3. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, the United Kingdom HMS Queen Elizabeth is the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers, which is the UK's most advanced aircraft carrier class to date. From its huge size that enables up to 1,600 military personnel to travel at a time, to its integrated electric propulsion system that thrusts the aircraft carrier almost 12,000 miles across the world at a maximum speed of 32 knots, this carrier is an all-around beauty. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is built to accommodate around 40 aircraft during a typical standard mission. However, in a not-so-normal mission, where as many aircraft as possible are required, the aircraft carrier's capacity can increase by 80% to support up to 72 aircraft. These aircraft would include various helicopters such as the anti-submarine Merlin HM-2, the Merlin's Crow's Nest, the Merlin HC-4, Wildcat AH-1, Royal Air Force Chinooks, and Army Air Corps Apaches. Number 2. Nimitz-class, U.S. 
The U.S. Navy's 10 Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are the second largest aircraft carriers in the world. Each carrier of the Nimitz-class is designed to operate for approximately 50 years, requiring just one midlife overhaul. They are certainly one of the best breeds and flaunt all of the features such battleships require. The 332.8-meter-long supercarrier features a 4.5-acre flight deck capable of carrying more than 60 aircraft. Each ship towers 20 stories above the water and can accommodate 3,000 to 3,200 ships company, 1,500 air wing, and 500 other crew. The Nimitz class is powered by two nuclear reactors, providing a maximum speed of more than 30 knots. Sea Sparrow missiles, Phalanx CIWS, and rams mounted on board the vessel defend against potential threats. The ships in Nimitz class will be replaced by the Gerald R. Ford class, CVN-78, next generation aircraft carriers when they reach the end of their life, which is also the number one carrier on this list. The Ultimate Supercarrier Number 1. Ford Class, U.S. The world's biggest aircraft carrier. The number one on our list. A $13 billion beast. A mass of 100,000 tons. A maximum speed of 30 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the USS Navy's Gerald R. Ford Class Battleships. Each carrier in this class costs a hefty $13 billion, and there are not just one or two, but 10 in this class. That's $130 billion in total. The lead ship of the Ford class, the USS Gerald, was commissioned in May 2017. This bad boy is 337 meters long with a beam of 78 meters. The 78-meter flight deck features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear. This supercarrier can sail for 25 years at a go without refueling, can carry over 75 aircraft and accommodate a total of 4,539 personnel. It is fueled by two nuclear reactors and has RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, airframe missiles or RAMs and Phalanx Close-In Weapon Systems or CIWS. So which one of these bad boys do you think is the best? I have to say, the USS Gerald is my pick, but let me know yours in the comments section below. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Warheads, this is your host signing off.